We are here today at Blade HQ with Joyce from Spyderco, and she has brought us some amazing gifts. How many people at Spyderco customize their knives? I would say half. Flashback. Hi, I'm Joyce Lighturi. We are at Spyderco today, and we're going to do something we haven't done for a while. We are going to go around the building and do a clip it check and see what people have in their pockets. Come with me. I have a thing for titanium and uh, anodizing, so I add a little bit of color to it. I love the size of it, and I love the fact that I can open it with one hand and then close it with one hand. It's my box cutter. <laughs> it's no. your box cutter? <laughs> I'm not going to use it for anything else. It's too nice. What are you carrying? Native. Nice. Native five. My initials, a little Grim Reaper, and then a little logo I designed years ago. That's very special. <laughs> so special that I'm going to borrow it from you until let me borrow it. What is up, guys? We are here today at Blade HQ with Joyce from Spyderco, and she has brought us some amazing gifts from Spyderco. Awesome. The knives of Spyderco employees. That's what correct. do you guys carry? So, walk us through the line. Okay, so this belongs to a guy named Alex, who is um, a person that works with Eric Glesser at Spyderco. And this is an advocate done in blue anodized titanium, which is his favorite thing to work in. And um, Alex has an anodization problem. He is seeking professional help for that. Um, they come in every color known to man, his advocate collection. This one happens to be his favorite because it's the same color as his wife's hair. It's pretty awesome. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Now, he, I noticed on this one, may I? Please. He's, he has a, uh, a deep carry clip on there. He does. He it, is a customization does, kind of Does guy. he, did he buy this or did he find it? You don't know. He, did he make it? He's mysterious. I is don't he? know where he got that. Okay. But again, you know, he does have a titanium problem, so it could be that he's in his basement making those. Nice. I don't know. But, yeah. but he's, he's Eric's helper, so Eric knows that this could be a thing. I don't think you could hide that from Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I, love I, it. I think rainbow colored um, advocates that have deep pocket carries get a little bit of notice around nice. Spyderco. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. How many people at Spyderco customize their knives? I would say half. That's awesome. Yeah, probably half of people like to do something very unusual to them, make it their own. Um, that goes from engraving to pocket clips to a lot of different stuff. Nice. Yeah. Okay, who's next on the list? Next on the list is. DJ. DJ is our grinding lead. And DJ is a traditionalist because he grinds these all day long. He likes to carry a paramilitary. So um, you see here a very worn, very dirty, um, very well loved paramilitary too. So if he's the grinding lead, mm -hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm expecting a sharp edge here, right? Okay, that's pretty good. Pretty good? <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> you know what, now you it's need, a little, It's a little dirty, need, but it's pretty good. You need something to wipe your hands off that with because um, grinding is a dirty process. And, that's okay, um, I'm, I'm known for dirty hands. Okay. Yeah. I, totally I love that the knives came dirty too. Like It wasn't like you guys oh, no, spiced the, them up. Yeah. He, these came yeah. right out of the pocket. There was no there was no prettying up in here. You're going to see, you're seeing dirt and all. Words, I love it, fantastic. Pimples, everything. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, what's next okay. on the list and whose is it? Um, this one is on the list, happens to be my personal favorite. And um, this is a Masada Ayub that I have carried for a very, very long time. Is, this, is this in line or discontinued? This has been discontinued since the dawn of time. So um, I've been at Spider Co. for a while. Prehistory. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah um, I learned how to cook with this knife. And um, yeah, it's just, just one of my favorite pieces. I really like this. This is an anodized aluminum handle. But what, what I really like about this knife is this curved handle. So you get kind of a negative edge angle. I don't know if you can get in there and see that. But um, women's pants, their women's clothing have very shallow pockets. So this little curvature here, here is great hmm. because this fits in a pocket. And unlike a really large knife, when you stand up, it doesn't come popping out. Um, so it's easy to carry, big enough to do anything I need to do with it. And it is a Masada Yub, which I really like. It's awesome. And I'm noticing full, full serrations. Yeah, I was, yeah. was going to question yeah. you on that. Yeah, yeah. Talk to us yeah. about your methodology. I mean. um, I like teeth. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> no, I think I think teeth are amazing. Teeth, um, teeth will give you five times the cutting performance in my experience, and um, I I just think that's a spider co trait. Plus, it, it performs amazingly. Um, so Masada Yub in a fully serrated version is kind of a rare animal. Yeah. And um, this one stays right in my pocket. 
Cool. You can tell too. Can, may I for a second? Is... May I get it back? <laughs> Maybe. Right. Probably, most it's done. You never know. <laughs> I, one thing I love about seeing people's knives come out of their pockets is the stories. You get the, the wearing and the kind of the patina happening from just everyday use. I, I think that's awesome. It's called age. Yeah. Well, and even yeah. on that first one with the anno, right? Like you can see the thumb where the thumb hits the anno. There's that there's that sheen spot, right, mm -hmm. where he holds it, and yeah, it's a it's fingerprint. A it's great to see it. You make yeah, it, it your own. Yeah, yeah. I love it. It's great. absolutely. I can has it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're gonna have more Spyderco knives from Spyderco employees after this wild commercial break. All right, guys, welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed that, because we sure did. A little bit of backstory on that. <laughs> the reason Joyce is here, Joyce is like at SHOT Show this year, she's like, hey, let's smash a car. <laughs> We're like, yeah, let's smash a car. We didn't smash your car, though. That's true. <laughs> wait, wait, I didn't know that was in the plan. I didn't know that either. <laughs> but that is what Joyce wanted to come to Utah and do. We're like, sold. Smash a car. Yep. Let's like yeah. do a knife vendor at the same time. So, Joyce, Great. we nice. appreciate you coming. Thank you. It's that awesome. was a lot of fun. It was awesome. Yeah, we broke some glass today. It was good. Yeah, that was really fun. It was fantastic. Good. That was awesome. Let's do it again next time. Let's do your car. Nothing. <laughs> okay, what's next on the list, Joyce? Next on the list is a Spyderco Native 5, and this happens to be the personal possession of um, one of our shipping people named Lana. And um, Lana likes American-made product. Um, she rocks kind of an inner Suicide Squad look. You'll see it when you guys see the video. She's pretty funny. Um, she has a really nice custom clip on there that has some file work. And I think a lot of people will do this at Spyderco because you see these same knives going around and around. You see a lot of, of paramilitaries. You see a lot of natives. Um, that makes it mine, so nobody's gonna walk off with it. Yeah. Yeah. Now you were mentioning that a lot of uh, a lot of employees, the native is kind of one of the more preferred knives. Yeah. Around. An American made manufacturer. Yeah. We're making in our factory right down the hall. That's awesome. Yeah. That's cool. It's it's interesting to me to see. Yeah, the the native. We got a we had a, a paramilitary. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the other footage you showed us, paramilitary too. Kind of some of the perennial winners for the whole community are the same things that you all are carrying. Well, you know, they work. Yeah. Yeah, so if they work, they're easy to carry, they perform when they need to perform, they're, they're a winner. Yeah, yeah for sure. So, so kind of in the same vein, the next one is also a native. Right. But a little bit classier, upscale version, right? Right. This belongs to um, Mikhail. Mikhail works in, he is a lead in our um, finishing department. And um, this guy goes all the way. He, he, he's pretty styling. He's got a 40th anniversary Damascus um, fluted carbon fiber native that is his everyday carry. Um, I know. Yeah. That's amazing. I don't think he Go owns, big or go home, right? Yeah, I, exactly. I don't think he owns more than maybe two pair of shoes or something, but he does carry a really, <laughs> really nice knife. Sounds and, like his priorities in the right place. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Oh, and um, yeah, this is a really nice knife. We made this uh, for our 40th anniversary, which was two years ago. And um, they're long gone, but um, they're classic. They'll stick around for a long time. How often do you guys make a knife of kind of this higher class variety? I mean, I think of Spyderco, I think of workers. I think of... Blue folk. collar workers. Yeah, I mean, yeah. well, just as far as the knives go themselves, knives that are going to get work done. And this to me is more of a trophy piece. How many of these are you cranking out a year? Not necessarily this model, but not as many as you would think. Yeah. That Spyderco started out as a as a usable knife, as a user knife. And we like to say we design in the dark because yeah. the appearance and the beauty of it is secondary to function. And that that really is what's important to a Spyderco product. And so once in a while we'll take something that we think is usable. Um, Kind of simple, and we'll just put a little pretty twist on it. Yeah, just kind and of strut, that's what that strut your stuff a little bit. I don't know if I call it strut. Ah, stuff, I would, I would call there's it strut, some, yeah. there's some strut there. Yeah, there's some strut there. I, <laughs> I don't know if I call it strut in our stuff, but um, but it's nice to do something a little high end, yeah. high end occasionally, and we don't do it that often. You don't, and it's no, it's cool when you do it. But yeah. I, I think that's one of the things I really respect about Spyderco is the mm -hmm. knives. 
They want to go to work, as, as cliche as that yeah. is, yeah. Yeah. they want to go to work. They're designed for getting a task done. This is more gentlemen, which I think is cool too. I call that a go into church knife. Yeah. Yes, nice. that's Absolutely. a go into church knife. Love so it. So you're going to get up, you're going to put a suit on, you're going to get a little fancy, maybe feel a little fancy. Yeah. yeah, totally. What's next? So this is our engraver, TJ. And TJ is not only very artistic in our engraving department, but I think you'll see right here that um, he's got some personal engraving. And um, this is just something that means a lot to him. So um, he's got a domino. This is a G10 laminate carbon fiber layered um, model made in Taiwan. Um, he's probably one of the few people in the factory that's not carrying an American made product the day I took this out of his pocket, forcibly. <laughs> um, titanium back with a reventricle lock. And this is a piece of artwork that he designed himself. This is sort of his personal logo. Um, DJ rocks it out, and he is, he's on an engraver back there, engraving knives, um, doing a lot of artwork, making things uh, look good, make them really customized, but he is Man, a Domino fan. I, I noticed here on the pocket clip, too, you've got the, uh, I, I don't know if that's the okay or that, that little game where, like, you make people look at the, the hole. Uh, do you know? It's a secret. It's a secret. <laughs> secret. I can't tell you. <laughs> way, I'd, I'd, I'd have to hurt you if I told <laughs> That's cool. So do people take them their knives to have things engraved or is all the time okay yeah, yeah I mean it's a personal cool. thing it really is yeah. you know it it stays on your person it stays in your body it's like it's it's something that if you put your stamp on it it really becomes yours right for sure yeah well and like you said where you're there making all of these knives seeing the same knives very often yeah. you want to put some flair on it and make it yours yeah. right you do want to express yourself don't you and he's That's kind cool. of a flair guy yeah. yeah yeah I can see from the artwork it's yeah. pretty cool it's pretty I fun, like yeah. it Cool. So, um, one of our, our employees in our retail store, Spyderco Factory Outlet, um, is a guy named John. And John is a multiple offender. He carries um, he carries at least two on his person all times. And um, this happens to be a square head designed by Daryl Caston, um, a lightweight square head, which John puts in his watch pocket of his jeans. Mm -hmm. And um, he, I, it stays in there forever. I don't know that it ever comes out. Um, he's also a big fan of Brad Southard, and Brad Southard, the custom knife maker, used to come in and hang out at Spyderco a lot. Um, he was in so often we made him a cup of coffee and pulled him up a chair, um, and he hung out with us for a long time. Nice. And now he's making custom pieces on his own, and he's a very talented maker. So um, this is a Southard, and this is one of John's pride and joys, and John is actually getting married in the two weeks. So. Wow. Marriage is what brings us together today. Well, we congratulations, John. We, yeah, when this video comes out, he'll be a married man. We don't know what to get him, but I doubt it's going to be knives because he's very particular about what he carries. He um, probably has a few already. He might have a couple. Yeah, he, he might have a few. How many people at Spyderco are like collectors versus just like... Here's a here's a second or blem or whatever and just you kind mean, of I mean how many are completely and utterly obsessed versus just <laughs> um just carries convenience carriers or whatever. Right. You know? Oh I would say we're probably fifty fifty. Huh. 50 /50. Yeah, we've got we've got some really bad obsessors. Um <laughs> we have people that um that will probably eat ramen soup just like everybody else for a few months to get something nice in their collection. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And then we have the people that shop elsewhere and that's great too because at Spyderco you really could should carry everybody's knives and that way you know what's out there. You know, it's totally. not just exclusive to one company. Yeah. So Okay, yeah. so Joyce, of all the Spider you've been at Spyderco for so many years now. Of mm -hmm. all the ones they've ever made. Yeah. What is your very favorite? Um, I like my Masada U, but in all honesty, I could not pick one that is my absolute favorite. Really? Wow. Yeah. Which is why I had to buy a bigger gun safe. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let me ask you a different term. question. Which was your very favorite to bring to market? Like, was oh there one gosh. that kind of stood out that you're like, that was fun? You know, they all are. The custom collaborations are great. Working with Sal and Eric are great. Um, they come out with great designs. Um, I think we have some really unusual pieces, and I, I can't say I've hit my favorite one yet. You know, yeah. I like them all, but I, maybe there's something coming yet that is just going to blow my socks off. We'll find out. <laughs> I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to see it. Now, we got one last thing for you guys. 
Zach's gonna tell you about it. <laughs> <laughs> you like that handoff? I, I love the handoff. <laughs> uh, so what we've got here is we've got one of the axes that we used in that amazing commercial break you saw, and we are going to give it away to one of you lucky YouTube vo viewers. This is how you win, pay attention. In the next seven days, get on the Blade HQ website and leave a review on any Spyderco knife. Any Spyderco knife. Preferably one you carried, because like, you know, reviews aren't helpful if you don't really actually know what you're talking about. And you're gonna be entered to win this, and this, you can see, this is, we actually use this thing. Um, I will make sure to put a nice new edge on it for you, though. So we'll get a nice new nice. edge. It's kind and, of new. Yeah, you know, I figure you can get a new uh, thing you want, it scratches, it's fine, but you want a good edge. Yeah. Right? He wasn't thinking about that when he was busting out sunroofs, was he? No, yeah. he wasn't. No, I wasn't yeah. at all. Nah. I, think I, wasn't worried, I wasn't worried about that then. <laughs> so yeah, so get on bladehq.com, review any Spyderco knife within the next seven days from the launch of this video, and you're entered to win this axe right here. So Very nice. That's Guys, it. thank you so much for watching. Joyce, this is My a pleasure. My pleasure. Let's yeah. go break some more cars sometime. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Yeah. Thanks next time. No, we'll right. start with yours. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll have another video coming out for you next week. Bye. He's on you. I can't get it. My hands are full. Oh, there's two. There's two. There's one there and one on the light. Do you see the one on the light? There are two flies in here. <laughs>